3. 8 U.S.C.S. Section 1401, A. The following shall be nationals and citizens of the United States at birth. Greater than born equals delivered over to, 1. A person born in the United States, and subject to the jurisdiction thereof. The word, slave, in Black's Law Dictionary, 4th ed. Page 1559, reads as follows. A person who is wholly subject to, greater than permanently owes, the will, one wishes or irrevocable contract, of another. Please keep in mind that the word of art, negro, means subject to another's jurisdiction and slave means subject to another's will and both describing the conditions of not being free greater than, white person, opposed to, free white person, color greater than femme color libre. Femme color libre means, when properly translated, free colored people, nation. Femme color libre. Up to the time of civil war, term applied to all persons not of the white race, including Indians. The Revolutionary War of America RWOA, is not the same as the War of Independence WOI. The RWOA was fought for the recovery or return back to, for the most part, the Aboriginal Lenny Lenape Maros Moors. The term revolution is rooted in revolve or to come back to. The WOI was fought for the liberation of the European Mulatto Maros Moors or Denizen proprietors. Neither of these combined actually freed the Caucasian white people, however, they did allow the European denizen proprietors and their descendants to become indigenous natives, along with the aboriginal natives. Greater than first Americans, natural born and the second Americans, Native Americans or natural born, preamble citizens of the United States. A corporate federal government of the United States was completely in place by 1791 to mirror, however subordinate to, the Free Association, Republic United States government. The federal corporation eventually included a vast number of preamble aboriginal citizens who erroneously and illegally joined with the preamble denizen citizen to violate their pre-revolutionary war agreements with their fellow Caucasian brethren and liberators. In Star Wars, Episode 1, Anakin Skywalker, aka Darth Vader represent the slaves who eventually destroy virtually, i.e., all of the former masters, greater than those of the Republic, and who in return is destroyed and saved by his seed, Luke, Skywalker, who was mixed with the bloodline of the Republic. This negative karma lead to the Civil War, Clone Wars Episode 2, or artificially created people fighting for freedom, to set Caucasian white persons free but instead of freeing the slaves it enslaved the amalgamated free people by the ratification of the 13th and 14th Amendments, and the Emancipation Proclamation. The slave-holding corporate states were defeated and the property greater than Negro white persons was seized and transferred over to the federal corporation United States for management. These Caucasian Negroes did not have a citizenship and the Masonically guided United States representatives did not allow them to be congressionally naturalized in accordance with the United States Constitution. Art. 1. Section 8. Clause 4 of 1787. Not to be confused with the 14th Amendment Naturalization of 1868, that is, 81 years later. The term emancipation comes from the Latin word emancipatio and literally means, to transfer or make over property, c. e.g. Cassell's New Latin Dictionary, 1960, page 212. The word property also means rights and slaves do not have rights. However, preamble and natural-born citizens who are not delivered over to by way of contracts do possess all preamble rights. The 13th and 14th Amendments and the Emancipation Proclamation are major sources in the illusion of freedom to the American public and together they establish the transference of the white Negro property via seizure from the corporate states greater than former colonies, to the federal corporation, and created a delusional avenue of freedom and liberty for the preamble amalgamated Maros and Mulatto Moors, aboriginal to America and the Mulatto and Morris indigenous to America, greater than both being the native natural-born citizens of the United States of America. This citizenship is no more than voluntary slavery via contracts. The Civil War did not, nor has any other war, free, d, the slaves no matter what color they were or are and it was never intended to do so. Today's modern-day wars against terrorism, third-world male-dominated societies, etc. are not intended to eliminate the so-called terrorism or anything else however. These wars are designed, maintained and controlled by the leaders of the so-called good Christian Western nations and the black nobility of woad blood in their attempt to terminate mankind and the transformation and elevation of man into Umi Alion. The following quotes are taken from Title 42 USCS, Section 1981 and it is describing a. What rights white Negro slaves have had since the Civil War to the present and b. 
the rights of the amalgamated free inhabitants who unintentionally and unknowingly volunteered themselves and their offsprings to inherit the subjugated white Negro citizenship defined in Amendments 1327. This will be quoted in three different manners for a clearer understanding. The first shall be quoted without the prepositional phrase. The second to distinctly indicate the power of contracts and thirdly the entire quote. 1. All persons within the jurisdiction of the United States shall have the same rights, as is enjoyed by white citizens, and shall be subject to like punishment, pains, penalties, greater than the word white, white, in law, means punishment, pain, penalties, etc. Black's Law Dictionary, 4th ed. Page 1776, taxes, greater than burdens, licenses, and exactions, greater than, the wrongful act of an officer or other person in compelling payment of a fee or reward for his services, under the color, greater than pretense, of his official authority, when none is due. 2. All persons, of the United States shall have the same rights, in every state and territory to make and enforce contracts, greater than voluntary contractual slavery of the 14th Amendment regardless of your color, as is, now and was, enjoyed by white citizens. 3. All persons, greater than artificial persons, corporations, aliens, etc. Within the jurisdiction of the United States shall have the same rights, in every state and territory to make and enforce, common law, contracts, to sue, be parties, give evidence, and to the full and equal benefit of all laws and proceeding for the security of persons and property as is enjoyed by white citizens, and shall be subject to, greater than enslaved, to like punishment, pains, penalties, taxes, licenses, and exactions of every kind, and to no other. As if there needs to be any other types of subjugation, we mentioned earlier above about being a. conquered, b. seized or c. contracted and now we shall elaborate further as to how they relate to the different and constitutional unequal United States governments, i.e., the Republic versus Tsar, Tsar equals Jur, Caesar. The word Tsar, Tsar means, the Christ, and like the Roman Khazars, the administrative federal seizure, Caesars, is, to the masses of the American people, the anti, anti-Christ and Christ. The administrative United States, in the United Nations, emblem is the eagle vulture that preys on the weak and this bald eagle is also a raptorial bird that seizes its prey with its claws and carries it up and away to its death. The word raptorial is the root word for Christian rapture greater than to rape and plunder. The rapture is not coming, it has came and gone two times in the past. Note, Caesar equals Caesar, Tsar or the Tsar, i.e., the Christ. The symbol for the Roman Empire, of Caesar's time, was the so-called eagle and one of the traits of the eagle is to grasp, clutch or seize. A. The Federal Corporation of the United States was officially admitted to the Republic, Union in 1791 and headed by a subordinate constitutionally amend. Hash 12, President. This corporate U.S. eventually attempted to completely usurp, impersonate and personate the sovereign aboriginal, legitimate and republic United States of America belonging to the family of nations, with its Article II president, prior to and between 1898-1934. The corporate and bitter, like Wormwood, conspirators managed to substitute our original republican democracy, the whole we, the people, for the illegal, unlawful and non-constitutional democratic republic, for the political parties, i.e., the Democratic and Republican parties. Between 1929-45, with the empowerment of FDR's administrative government, the corporate U.S. government was all but eliminated while being absorbed by the administrative federal government of the U.S. 5 U.S.C.S., Section 7324 aka the Cleaner Hatch Act, was eventually put in place by the administrative U.S. government that prohibits the federal, state and local employees, officers from partaking lawfully in any active part in political management or in political campaigns as it pertains to the general national United States Republican form of government, in the FON. By 1945-72 the federal corporation U.S. had been conquered by the atomic empire now known as the administrative federal United States of America, in the United Nations. B. From the 1929 stock market, crash to the 1933 banking holiday spelled the fall of the corporation U.S., and like any other monetary default asset, resources, property, rights were forfeited and seized by the creditors, i.e., the constitutional United States government greater than the Treasury of the United States, for the preamble posterity of we, the people greater than the constitutional, citizens of the United States. In other words, the Corporation United States as far back as the first magistrate CEO of the federal government in the United States or President George Washington, 
borrowed money from its superior association the United States, for the United Colonies War of Independence that was still in delinquency and default up until 1929-34. The last president, until May 1999, FDR ambiguously established a fourth branch, Department Federal Administrative Government aka the Beast, to seize the corporate and colonial assets, including property and rights that did eventually lead to the usurpation and the illegal temporary overthrow of the general United States government, and the forced unlawful construction of the municipal governments, municipalities and municipal corporations to act instead of the superior United States government and in most cases in times to act as the one and only United States government including the states thereof. Assets. Property of all kinds, real and personal, tangible and intangible, the entire property of a person, natural and artificial, association, corporation, subject to the payment of his, her or its debts. Property, in the strict legal sense, an aggregate, greater than all or complete, of rights which are guaranteed and protected by the government, i.e., all of a person's human, constitutional, common law, equitable, civil, statutory and municipal rights. In the United States legal system we have preamble citizens with rights and 13th and 14th Amendment citizens without rights. All white Negroes, regardless of their color, are 13th and 14th Amendment citizens, subject to another's jurisdiction, and is therefore, lawfully considered assets and natural resources to be seized by the general government and managed by the administrative government. Even though the general United States government is crossing the burning sands to get to Sankofa, the promised land or paradise lost, white Negro citizenship is wrong, therefore, the administrative government must correct and eliminate said citizenships. C. Again the three predominant post-1929 factors in understanding the U.S. national administration and state municipal seizure of the rights properties of the American people, opposed to the people of the United States, are the 13th Amendment allowance of voluntary, contractual slavery, servitude, the 14th Amendment Negro phrase greater than, subject to, the Emancipation Proclamation, the transfer of white Negroes, property from the slave-holding states to the keep of the General National, Republican United States Government and into the management and subordinate administrative national government of the U.S. for temporary keep, via the corporate government of U.S. The Federal Corporation U.S., 28 U.S.C., Section 3002, 15, and its corporate states, 5 U.S.C.S., Section, Section 1501, 2, under the manage of the government of the United States, i.e., the minute and expanding administration U.S. government became primary basis for the present administration, i. U.S. government, AUSG, to eventually establish an unconstitutional fourth branch, departmental agency U.S. government with its own national emblem greater than the square Illuminati pyramid and its own golden fringes U.S. flag, and the establishment of the 50 municipal state, 5 U.S.C.S., SEC. 1501, 2, Political Democratic Party System. Even though it appears that the constitutional and republican states, greater than USCS, section 1501, 1, have been totally replaced by the municipal states, greater than USCS, sec. 1501, 2, this is not true as it pertains to the preamble and free inhabitants of the United States of America, in the FON. One of the codified and original meanings of the term municipal comes from the Latin, org. Latimores, words. 1. Muni, moenio capio, a. Capio greater than to entrap, allure, entice, to hunt for legacies, a fallacy, s cheat, deception, harm, lay hold of, catch at, capture and seize. b. Moenia, munus, munia greater than a public office that taxes and charges, a wall city of fortification or castle, of the federal lords. c. Municipalis Provincial Administration, I've Government under the control of a magistrate, or military control, Cassell's New Latin Dictionary, CNLD. 2. Province, Proxencia, Government administrated by a magistrate and, or military commander, Origins. Amological Dictionary by Eric Partridge, OED, page 531. The terms Mayor, Major, Magister, Majesty, Maestas and Magistrate comes from the Old Moorish words Major, Majus, Ma, E, Gi or Mech equals Mac, Max equals Maximum or Greatest, see Black's Law Dictionary, 4th ed., and Master Greater Than OED, page 384. The term Magistrate means, person clothed with the power as a public civil officer, or ministerial. Ministerial. That which is done under the authority of a superior. 
that which involves obedience to instruction, but demands no special discretion, judgment, or skill. The magistrates greater than P. Suedo judges in America are military majors assigned by the quasi or covert martial law U.S. administrators aka agencies to seize, control and manage the business, properties, and rights of the civilians, skilled in private, and the white Negro emancipated and contracted via the 13th and 14th Amendments to the United States Constitution.